Okay, so come on over. You can see actually that hair that's just come out with the skin attached, that's like mm -hmm. an indicator of yeah. mites just coming yeah. on board. But I want you to feel like that with the flat of your fingers. Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Cavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue. This is Munchie, everyone, and Munchie's now found a buddy. And what we're going to just quickly do, because he looks gorgeous all over, let's just take a quick little look at him. Is he six and a half, six years? Yeah, about six years. About six. Awesome. He's looking really, really good. He's had like a little, you can see there, a little toenail injury at some point on that toe. It's a little bit blackened. Could have caught it on something. That one can have a little bit of a clip back. Just do like this. This one, these are pretty good. Okay. And then, what you can do with Maliseb, because um, fungal often gets caught and harbored up around their ears. You can actually see he's got fungal up in there. See this white oh, flaky? Yeah. This is what we have to use Maliseb on. And the way we treat that is with cotton bud cleaners. This is dilute Maliseb in water. So I'm just going to dip the ends of these. And we literally oh, do you like that go much? around here. We're gonna take that off. So this little guy has got fungal, which um, I'm really glad we've taken a look at him because look no, it will actually see this coming off. It will become a huge issue on him. And this will, I know, you're going to feel so much better, little guy. We always find fungal up around the ears because it's a really great bendy, moist area. And they're rubbing their little paws onto their face mm. and ears. Now, we're not putting this down into his eardrum, which is down in this direction. We simply use this to wipe outwards through all of the folds. There's lots of them. And making sure that this fungal is no longer there. So this is what Maliseb is for. And I'm going to ask you to do this again for him in two weeks time. Because you'll find that a bit more of it will reappear. Mm -hmm. We're also going to apply some Ivermec. I'm actually going to give him a double dose. So rather than the smaller amount that's on there, I want him to have the higher amount because when they've got something like fungal on board, their immunity again, they're already, they know it's there, um, but it just means they're a bit more susceptible. So we just give him that added protection. We'll get all of that out. His ears are gonna feel so much better. Little guy, like this. Yes, I'm sure glad we had a look because um, his ears are a whole lot better now. Okay, what I'd like you to do now is to have a feel. And you can do that. Yeah, with, <laughs> with his ears. Let me just finish that one. Guinea pig, guinea pig whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so come on over. You can see actually that hair that's just come out with the skin attached, that's like mm -hmm. an indicator of yeah. mites just coming yeah. on board. But I want you to feel like that with the flat of your fingers. Oh yeah. Feel the difference? Yeah, yeah. Dramatically different. Big difference, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's what we're looking for, his ears always being like, and that's just with a rough first clean. Yeah, yeah. You can see he's really dry and scaly yeah. there. Yeah, you can so feel we'll do that. both sides. So while he hasn't got it through his coat, he's actually really vulnerable to it spreading. The weather we have right here and now is the first month of winter so it's colder it's more damp on the grass which means that the chance of getting fungal is really quite high okay that ear feels great we're gonna do this one let's come around and have a look here so similarly this little ear sort of full of gunk it's just it's the other one that was really white and scaly but you can sort of see it and feel it in here.
Now you'll be able to hear. Little guy. Is that better? Yeah. And that's yeah. just diluted Malaseb. That's diluted Malaseb, so it's a really fantastic product to have. It will then eradicate any fungal spores that um, you know are in and around the ear area because we're doing a gentle wipe over as well as a wipe out and just get on top of it for him. There we go. All right, so we're going to give you some ivermectin, which you only ever put ivermectin on to a dry skin. And always here behind the ear where we've got lots of yes, space. There's usually more skin in there. He's quite fluffy, isn't he? Not <laughs> much of a naked area. But we're just going to give him put one on there. And I'm going to do the same on this because he's a bigger boy, but also because he's already got fungal on board. So we want that to be absorbed. There we go. Thank you. Bye, everyone.